in this lesson we are going to learn duplicating techniques so there are different ways to duplicate your objects inside Maya so let's see one by one so the first I'll tell you the plain simple duplicating for example I have a single chair and I want to duplicate it all around the table uh, let me duplicate it just select the object go to move tool and go to edit menu and duplicate you can see th there's a whole category for duplicate it's there are different ways like as i said there's duplicate duplicate special duplicate with transform so these three options are very uh, useful so let me tell you the first option which is duplicate the shortcut is control d there so just hit that duplicate or control d to duplicate now you duplicate and you move the object because when you duplicate the object comes right there so now i duplicated one single chair then i can again select both of them and then again duplicate them to this side and i can rotate them so as you can see i can rotate 180 degree here just rotate them 180 degree so this is the easy simple way to duplicate your object through the menu and the shortcut let's see this is the situation where you have drawn one leg and you want to duplicate two more three legs so in order to exactly duplicate the object here again uh, just let me go to the top view there and you can see from the top the leg is uh, in this corner i want to duplicate it to exactly to this side of the table and the table is exactly in the center of the grid so to duplicate the leg exactly to this area i can also duplicate and just move and place there uh, but if i am uh, i'm very precise about to put that exactly that side then i need to first put the pivot at the center or at the origin so the best way to set is just move the pivot at, to the origin to, to do that just control g group it itself if you remember when you group the pivot goes to the origin then you can duplicate it just control d or duplicate then you need to flip that object in minus scale so i want to flip the object in z axis so go to scale z not move or translate go to scale z and put minus value there just minus one then hit enter it will flip there so what happened uh, there is when i duplicate and scale you can see the, because the pivot is at the center it's going it's actually stretching and moving away from that point so then uh, let's do the same thing just select both then again hit ctrl g and now it, the both are inside a group and the pivot is at the origin and uh, let's duplicate this and this time i'll put minus in scale x because i want to flip this side so this is my way to you know, flip one object exactly to um, the other location or opposite uh, by putting the pivot at the center you don't have to do grouping so here you just group to move the pivot there uh, but you can also move the pivot manually to the origin so that you can flip from there let's see some other example of duplicating okay in this example we are going to see uh, duplicate with transform it's a very very useful tools so uh, he, uh, say here in this case we want to duplicate it even with even distance uh, like it's a stair or uh, it, it's a balcony and we want the railings evenly there so if we do this manually or by just duplicating and moving and again duplicating you can also g uh, to repeat the tool if you try to do this it can't be perfect like 100 percent evenly so what you do is to just first duplicate as you do this by using the duplicate just duplicate it and move to the right location the distance between two you want then release the mouse and hit shift d which is the shortcut of you know duplicate with transform so for that shortcut i'm using shift d so just hit shift d shift d and you'll get with even that distance so when you do this just make sure you don't uh, do this like you duplicate it and move it 
and then just click away then select and shift d it don't work in that way just be aware of this you are duplicating and moving don't click away hit shift d in the next stage so it will be fine so this is a very useful tools for this kind of duplicate and the next example is uh, duplicating along a curve sometimes you there's no straight lines it's a straight line so that i can use this technique well, for example there is a road and besides the road there is some kind of poles or something uh, like railings or something let me show that with this example let's just delete it let's create the path first so to create the path go to create menu curve tools and choose any of the curve tool i am in this case choosing cv curve tool and go to top view it's a better idea to create the curves uh, in any orthographic view so top view is best for that and then create your path for example it's a road and something like that just create that road or it's a top design balcony whatever the case is the shape is very curvical way then i want to place this object evenly on this path so what i do is just duplicate the object just duplicate whatever amount you want by duplicating with transform just duplicate those and uh, let me duplicate some more okay and then what i do is uh, just select all the objects first and select the path then so by holding shift we select the objects and the path then go to modify snap align objects inside this you will get position along curve so click on this now you can see all those objects have been placed on the curve so it's good but if i see closely the distance is not even you can see the distance between these two uh, is not the same like these two what happened there is when they place all those objects on the curve the objects have been placed according to the placement of the cvs or the edit points just right click on the curve go to edit point you can see the distance between these two edit points is not the same as these two so our curve points are not evenly that's why they place the objects according to that proportion so what you do is reveal this curve let me see the spans count of this curve go to attribute editor and just look at this value here it's uh, 9 there so just select the curve go to curve menu uh, rebuild go to option and you can change the option here you don't have to change the value the 9 is okay or if you want to you can do that but the point is uh, just put that 9 value and apply or rebuild again so what it does is now it rebuild the curve with that nine points but it, this time it's evenly so now if you do the same process again let me see select this and select the curve go to modify and let's try this time now you can see it's perfectly even out so you can see there's the distance and this is the same distance everywhere so this is the way to duplicate along a curve it's very very useful in the next example we are going to see another option of duplicating which is duplicate special let's take this example uh, suppose this is my fan and this is the blade i have done with one blade and i want to duplicate it now but how can i duplicate it exactly around the fan so i need three blade around the fan i have already one so the process is to uh, first the process is to place the pivot at the origin or to the center of this area so let's do that first to do that just select it and go to uh, hold d and you can just move the pivot here and the best way is to just groove it and it will automatically put the pivot there obviously it has been inside a group right now now the pivot is at the center now let me go to duplicate special this time and here we can put values let me reset it first okay and put here uh, in the rotated y axis in this case i need to put 120 here because uh, if you divide three blades divide to 360 you will get 120 degree so just put here in the y axis i want to duplicate 
to 120 degree and uh, how many copies I want two because I have one already Let's duplicate now you can see I'm able to duplicate any object in a circle in evenly okay in this last example of duplicating we are going to see instance duplicating so let's see this is our character model and most of the time we do one half of the character model then we duplicate it to the other side and we, we then continue doing the model uh, so what we need is to duplicate with instance so that we can do one side and it will reflect to the other side so if you do that just go to duplicate special and you need to just put minus one in a scale axis which in this case is x x scale so this box correspond to x y z the serial order you should remember first box is x y and z so just put here minus one and uh, you can duplicate as a copy but uh, if you duplicate in copy let me show you that first uh, if you duplicate as copy demo tray uh, then you do something one side you don't reflect to the other side so that is the difference between copy and instance then let's just duplicate this time with instance now you can see if i change one side any other vertex you can see that's a reflect to the other side as well so this is uh, very useful when you are doing something and you want to reflect to the other and you can also use this to like to as a whole object you are duplicating and you want to change one object which is the master object and uh, you want you want the changes in all so you can choose instant instead of duplicate or copy but that's duplicating objects inside maya so see you in the next lesson